Hi guys, welcome back to another Conversations with Juan and Tiggs. How are you going, Juan? Hey Tiggs, how are you going? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited about this one. Yes, we both love this topic. It's creative ideation. So today we're going to run you through our top nine tips for brainstorming. What's number one? Number one is don't be afraid. Throw all ideas with no restrictions. That's what we call blue sky thinking. Just get it out of your brain and put it out there. Don't worry about it. Just Go with the flow. Number two. Number two. So sometimes it's a good idea to go back to former content, anything that's worked in the past, analyze that and get inspired for something new. Number three. Number three, a good way is once you come up with ideas, sometimes it's good to explain it to the group out loud. This will allow you for two things. People make sense of what you were thinking, but also it may spark other ideas within the group based on your explanation. Number four. Number four. So a good way to make sure that we stay on track is to use a little bit of structure. So we often put subheadings, categories at the top of our blue sky thinking boards, just so that we stay on track. What's the next one? The next one is obviously you want to kind of don't spend too much time dwelling on things. So every time you put a little task or a moment, give yourself a timer. You can use this if you're doing a digital board, they come with embedded uh, clocks. Or if you are on face to face, you can always use your phone or have a, an alarm just to time bound it. In that way, the team is focused, you get the best out of everyone and you become quite productive. Next. Next is number six, document the process. So we don't want to lose any of those great ideas that you might have on the spot. We like to use Miro, Miro, um, and that's really great for hybrid teams. You know, anyone can log on and add to the board remotely. And that's been working really well for us as a whiteboard. What's the seventh one? Seventh one is obviously you've got a bunch of great ideas, everyone's excited, but it's a moment that you have to make decisions of which one you need to pursue. So it's best, best practice to have a way of voting or ranking them. So digitally you can do that in one of these like Mido, what, what Tiggs was saying, or if you're doing face-to-face, -face, you can have these little red stickers uh, and give them to people so they can vote on their best ideas. In that way, you can uh, synthesize and call the ones that you may be pursuing later and you're keeping the ones that you want the team to focus on. Number eight. Number eight, almost at the end. Once we've there. Got, <laughs> almost there. At the end of your brainstorm session, it's a really good opportunity to synthesize, pull out the strongest idea and just summarize your main findings. What is the last tip? Thanks for holding back and staying for the video. Number nine is all about, you never know when another idea may come. So don't kill all your work. If you have it on digitally, leave the board active. So just always come back, keep adding, moving, synthesizing, and that's it. I think those are the nine tips that we recommend you when coming up with brainstorming and usually a lot of creative ideas come out of that. Anything else, Diggs? That's it for today. Yay! That's it, we covered it. Bye, Bye. guys. Chicky bam bam, blue melon. <laughs>